Seen for the first time since being detained in Minsk, Belarusian opposition journalist Roman Protesevich on social media. He appears to confess, but his supporters say he was likely under duress. Protesevic was the target of an extraordinary intervention by Belarus on Sunday that has become a full-blown international crisis. He was travelling on Ryanair 4978 from Athens when the flight was diverted to Minsk from its destination Vilnius. Belarus says the flight was rerouted because of a bomb threat, but EU leaders in Brussels condemned it as state-sponsored piracy. They urged Protesevich's immediate release and backed sanctions against Belarus. This is an attack on democracy. This is an attack on freedom of expression. And this is an attack on European sovereignty. And uh, this outrageous behavior needs a strong answer. Therefore, um, the European Council decided that there will be additional sanctions. Protesevic fled Belarus after President Alexander Lukashenko claimed victory in last August's disputed presidential election. The opposition candidate in that election was also forced to flee into exile. She called for justice to be served. We have to build a broad coalition of countries, especially those affected, in order to conduct a thorough investigation of the incident. It's very important that all perpetrators are brought to justice including those alleged secret agents on the plane. Alexander Lukashenko has been Belarus's president since 1994, a leader described by some as Europe's last dictator and a man who has a record of harshly repressing dissent. He's strongly supported by his ally Russia. We are in favor of assessing the situation, not in a rush but on the basis of all the available information. After more than a day of strong words and furious reactions, EU leaders were united and swift in their response. Whether the punitive measures agreed in Brussels will deter similar actions in the future from Belarus is unclear, as is Protesevich's fate. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Paris.